So I'd like to say something about designing in circles and the difference than the squares that we're used to. And as you can see, circles fit within circles. They fit within circles in certain patterns. And these patterns are very different than squares. And if you look at something like a pen, essentially it's a circle, right, at the end of it. And it's actually a tube. And so a circle is like taking a cross section of a tube. And if you look at information or consciousness flowing in tubes, you get the idea that the circle becomes the identifier or category or the way of naming this flow of information. And so in the operating system, the inflow matrix, information is flowing between all of these different words in these sacred geometry patterns. And so when you do this, you can't connect into the normal software systems because they're all organized in squares. And there's a, a limitation towards squares and how squares are used. And it doesn't mean that squares can't organize information well. And most of our society has been organized on squares. But the circle is a very different informational system organizing property. It's in a sense, more holistic because the circle is working in a cycle where everything is equal versus the square is very hard, it has corners, and uh, has a very different type of thinking behind it. So if we're going to make a jump, if we are going to change our minds, change the way we see the world, uh, the fundamental shape of the circle is going to be how we're going to do that. And so the inflow matrix, the basic form, is the circle. And that's what this video is just there to tell you about.